The Ardu Simple RTK base station is designed to function as a continuously operating reference station to provide high-precision RTK corrections through the internet. In this video we will show you how to set up your base station, configure as a base, share the base via NTRIP, and receive corrections on rover. Firstly, set up the RTK base station. This product is compatible, but doesn't include triple band GNSS antenna, which is necessary to use the product. Before powering, connect the antenna to your receiver and place the antenna in completely open air for testing functionality. Connect the RTK base station to your PC with a USB cable. The first time you connect the RTK base station to a new PC, you will only see a new hard disk on your computer. Open the disk and manually install the Septentrio drivers. Open a browser and type in 192.168.3.1. The Septentrio web interface appears that you can both to configure and monitor the receiver. Secondly, configure the receiver as a base station. There are several methods to determine the precise location of the base station. For a more detailed explanation, refer to our tutorial. In this example, we will use the automatic method. Go to our user guide, How to Configure Septentio Mosaic X5. Go to Examples of Configuration Files. Download the configuration file for base by right-click and choose Save Link As. Go back to Septentrio web interface. Go to Admin, Configurations. Click the upload arrow at current. Choose the configuration file you just download. Click open and proceeded. Click OK and save configuration. You will see the position mode change to fixed. Thirdly, share base via NTRIP. Sharing the base station online, allow your rovers to connect to it from anywhere with internet access, unaffected by terrain or physical obstructions. Rovers typically use a 4G or 5G mobile network, while the base station is usually connected to a router via Ethernet or Wi-Fi. However, if we want the rover to connect to the base over the internet, we face a major challenge. When the rover sends a request for correction data, the request is blocked by the router's firewall, preventing the base station from receiving it. The same situation happens if the base would try to connect to rover. The firewall of the mobile network provider blocks any direct incoming connections to the rover, so the rover cannot receive the correction data from base. This is one of the reasons why NTRIP was invented. NTRIP is a piece of software developed to exchange correction data over internet. With NTRIP, things work differently and avoid these firewall issues. The NTRIP caster is hosted on a server with a public IP address, it is accessible from anywhere. The base station just needs to know IP address or domain name of the NTRIP caster and the port number to send correction data to it. Instead of asking the base for correction data, the rover asks to the caster. This is like how you open a website. You send a request and the website responds. Since the rover made the request first, firewalls allow the data to return through the same open path. The rover can receive the correction data from NTRIP caster. The NTRIP caster holds the correction data, and it has a public IP address that multiple rovers can connect to it. Several NTRIP caster services are available on the market, each offering unique features to meet the diverse needs of users. rtk to go is a popular free option, but when using this service your base station will be accessible to the public. To use it you need to register online. Remember reply to the email sent by rtk to go to activate your registration. Now we will show you how to share your base station with rtk to go Connect the RTK base station to your router with an Ethernet cable. Go to Communication, Ethernet. At the Ethernet interface mode, check Power, On. Select DHCP. If you prefer to set up your local IP manually, you can also do it from this menu. Press OK. Go to Corrections, and Trip. Choose Add New and Trip Server, and press OK. Set Mode to Server, Caster to RTK to Go.com. Port to 2101, password and mount point as you registered before. Then press OK and save configuration. At the toolbar go to Corrections, Corrections Output. 
select new RTCM3 output. Press OK, select NTRIP server. Press Next, choose NTRIP to mount point RTK to go.com. Select RTCM3 output and the default selection including MSM4, 1006, 1033, and 1230 is already quite good and compatible with most of the systems. If you have special needs, you can also set them here. Click Finish. Click OK and Save Configuration. You can see it is sending RTCM messages to your mount point on RTK to go. On the upright corner of the screen, you can see the green arrow indicating data flow next to corrections. You can go to rtktogo.com and find your mount point to check if everything is working properly. Now you can use any NTRIP client to connect your rover to your base station. You can connect your rovers to the base station using either a PC or a mobile device with an internet connection. We use the SW Maps application as an example. Other software or mobile applications should function similarly. To connect, enter your credentials, use your email as the username, and fill in none for the password. Once connected, you will see the fix type change to RTK float or RTK fix. I hope this video helped you understand how to set up a RTK base station and share corrections with NTRIP Caster. To ensure your antenna stays stable and secure, check out our selection of tripods, poles, and magnetic stands in our store. We deliver worldwide in two to four business days. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment with any questions or feedback.